Hi guys, I'm going to do a little video recording on a tutorial for the ethmoid bone. So I've got the ethmoid bone highlighted here so you can see its position relative to the other skull bones. We get a pretty good view of it when we tip up the skull a little bit and look into the nose. Um, and I wanted to highlight, actually get rid of all the others so we're looking solely at the ethmoid bone. So here it is. Still an anterior view, just like before, um, and there's a couple of different portions that you need to know. So this part right here, this massive projection comes down into the nasal cavity and divides the nasal cavity into a right and left half with the vomer bone, and that's known as the perpendicular plate. So this big section right through here is known as the perpendicular plate. And look as I turn the the bone towards the side, let me turn this, you can get an idea of how large that perpendicular plate is. And just in case you lost your reference, the front of the body is that way. So that would be the front of the face, posterior, superior still at the top of the screen, and inferior down below. All right, so turn it back to our anterior view. And one of the other things that you can readily see with the ethmoid bone is that there's a peak at the top, and that peak is called the crista gali, which means rooster crest or crest of the rooster. So again, as I turn that towards the side, you can see just like that red fleshy mass that's on the top of the rooster's head. That piece right there is called the crista gali, and you can see as I rotate this, to a superior view that how much it projects upward. Okay, so while we're on this superior view, okay, we're looking at that superior view. Let me zoom in here. Here's the Christagali. Whoops. This peak piece right here. This is projecting superiorly. And then all around that is the cribriform plate with these little tiny openings in it. Those are cribriform foramina. That's where nerve endings come through the ethmoid bone and reach into the nasal cavity. So this piece right here is called the cribriform plate, and again that's the cristagali. If I get rid of that, let me zoom out a little bit and show you that anteriorly again. Oops, I don't want that. Hide those bones. Being tricky. The cribriform plate is going to stretch pretty much across here. And then here is the cristagali at the top of that bone. Finally, um, the ethmoid bone has two of our nasal conchae associated with it. You know, the inferior nasal concha is its own bone. But the, the middle nasal concha and the superior nasal concha are actually part of the ethmoid bone. So if we look, there's the middle on both sides, middle nasal concha. If you can look really carefully, that's the superior right there and right there. So let me get rid of those. I'll see if I can zoom in a smidge. I can't dissect away this bone itself, but you can see that there's a little lump there and there. And those are the superiors, these are the middles, and then we know that the inferior nasal conchae are their own actual um, facial bones. So there you have it, ethmoid anatomy.